Where am I going? Just go sit? That guy's fucking ugly. Fucking a can of it. Alright, like drop six dick. All my sins are forgiven, but fuck it. I yeah, my homie painted that up some shit. What year? 2021? Yeah, 2021. My man Hyro did that. When I saw it, I got scared. I took it as like, oh shit, I'm about to die. A month after that, I found out I had fucking cancer and shit, melanoma, beat that. You know what I mean? But yeah, this shit scared the fuck out of me. Daddy drunk, he's hardly ever sober. Drunk driving down the yard now. What's crazy though is when I, I grew up down here in South Florida, like born and raised and like, I've been writing for a, like, a, 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 like before music and all that, I was a writer, you know what I mean? Still am to the core. But this wall, this used to be the Altoids wall. It wasn't like, this is like before like Art Basel and shit really exploited it. So like my whole life, I remember going by this on the highway and looking at this wall. And then as I got into painting and writing, this was like, the style I did, I always wanted to paint this little section just because of like the vibe of it. So like none of it was planned. When, I, when, my, when my homie told me he was doing a mural of me when he was working on it, it was like, it hit me in the heart, you know? But it just happened to be like in the exact spot that I've always, it's like a dream come true type shit. It's still, it, it's still surreal. Alright, I keep some pistol on my dress and test me. I'm gonna let it blow. Smith the West and keep a weapon strap like all my getting home. On the pressure stack and chair the trap. I was always misunderstood. It's like, damn, how can you like this? But you're down with this. Because back then, you know, it was like you couldn't be in all, everything. You remember, like, when we were younger, it's like you couldn't be in the multi genres. You, you had to be in a box. Now it's the wave. Now it's cool. The kids that used to beat me up, try to beat me up for being a little surfer skater rocking thrasher and shit you know what i mean it's a beautiful world we live in yeah. so like i grew up in jupiter florida the heights <laughs> picking strawberries from mecca farms an old man coming out pumping rock salt we thought we were the shit we're like yeah we got shot at we thought we were cool i used to think all that shit was cool bro especially i started rolling around with people in the hood when i got a little bit older i used to think all that shit was cool oh yeah i'm on the block i roll with killers blah 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 i'm proud to say i'm here right now and i learned a lot from them lessons like that shit ain't cool, what's cool is love and being alive. Like, you never lie to the man in the mirror. It came a long way from that, man, like. I 
like a bad man A petty pigeon I'm just trying to make a living I'm feeling like I'm digging in a trash can My father slapped me with a backhand Got me thinking about back when I never had a dollar Never had a friend of college Trying to holler up the guy I got some questions Want to ask him I'm on my left father's 76 he's from Uruguay Montevideo like he's old school immigrant so like art wasn't really accepted and like um I'm proud of where I'm at you know what I mean like I'm, I'm proud of where I'm at in life right now like I feel like everything I've been through in my life man was all a lesson that's something very important man you know like there's no L's in life like every L it ain't a loss it's a lesson if you look at every loss as a lesson, you ain't never losing. I just got a slot. It was dirty on the dock. Then I caught a 40. That was off the dock. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love you, bro. You hear me? All right.